Governor Abbott made the announcement to move into phase two and reopen many businesses and groups. In that same announcement, he gave the OK for school districts to have in-person summer school. Our Tristan Lewis has been catching up with school districts to give us the latest on what this means locally. Gabriella, so Texas public schools can have in-person summer classes as early as June 1st, as long as they follow safe distancing practices and other health protocols. But some districts in the Brazos Valley are sticking to online this summer. In a statement sent to KX News, Brian ISD will hold summer school in June online by invitation only for students who have the most need for additional instruction. Parents of these students are being notified individually. We hope to hold summer enrichment camps in July that would be conducted in person. This will be dependent on the situation with COVID-19 in Brazos County and based on guidance at the time from our local health authority, the Department of State Health Services, and the governor. College Station ISD says that opening facilities for summer programs, including in-person summer school, is still to be discussed. Tomorrow we actually have a meeting with a number of our directors and folks that are responsible for summer camps and, uh, and those types of things, the summer activities. We want to take a look at the guidance that the commissioner and the governor put out here the last two days. Although Superintendent Martindale does not believe high school and middle school will move from online. Those folks are already registering for those and we'll proceed forward with that. So the conversations we really need to have are with our elementary enrichment and also our summer day camp. For those school districts that are holding in-person summer classes, they must follow certain health protocols. Like there should be no more than 11 people enclosed in a space together on campus, including teachers. Student desks should be six feet apart from one another and students on campus should have their temperature taken daily. Teachers and staff should also be self-screened for COVID-19 symptoms before coming onto campus. That means if they or anyone in their household shows any signs of the virus. In-person summer school must also be an option for all students, even if a student is using courses to get to the next grade or fulfill a credit. If there is space that allows multiple groups of the 11 to work and have them each be six feet apart, then that is allowed. But groups cannot combine and have to be separated by 30 feet from one another. Reporting in the studio, Tristan Lewis, KX News.